Final Fantasy 64 is the best Final Fantasy, not gonna deny that. Mario Kart Origins, Legend of Zelda, The Winds of Change, also good choices. Ow, Heart Pass to His Heart, that's a pretty good game. Real classic. When was the last time I played Pugsy? I think I played it last week, didn't I? Are you wanting me to play Pugsy? Let's see if we can do a couple levels on this, and then maybe I'll play some Pugsy. I didn't... okay. Fine, fine. Just on the first enemy. Why wouldn't you? Alright. Yeah, I, I forgot. You press start on the pause menu, you uh... Alright, let me see if I can remember the controls here, guys. It's been a little while since we played this one, and we're like halfway through the game here. Yeah, give me my hammer. So this is the very first Wonder Boy game. It was later remade as, Aven as Adventure Island. How do I... Ah, okay. You missed a little Pugsy, I'm afraid. But do you know where you can catch up? On all the episodes that you missed? No! <laughs> so yeah, this is one of those games where you get infinite lives and just keep going, so I'm I'm trying to, uh... It's the start of a classic series, so I'd like to beat it someday. Therein lies our goal. Right. You can check out Let's Plays and old streams. On our YouTube channel. Whoa. Well, would be nice if I landed on the spring there. So you can control your movement a little bit. Oop. Other way, Jinx. When you're in the air, but not a lot, which is something. Oop. We're gonna be right back at the start of this, aren't we? You know, it's my goal to play this a little at a time and uh, get a little further each time until we beat this classic game. I think I may have left it slightly too long. I've not played for like six months and I don't remember how to play. There's like food and you eat it? I'm starting to remember bits, mind. Like how you can tell the difference between falling platforms and regular platforms by whether they glitch out as you move towards them. You only get those visual glitches on uh, moving platforms. That's your key hint. Oop. It's not moving and it's... okay. That wasn't much of a jump, Wonder Boy. Try harder next time. That wasn't harder, that was that was a lot less hard. You just kinda jump straight into a frog. I've told you about jumping straight into frogs. You 
had this conversation. Yeah, so the later games in this series I uh, remember quite fondly. This one is just a little bit terrible. Just a little. Like, not hugely terrible. But there's uh, some distinct terribleness in it. Mostly in how the jump physics work. It was a better jump. We got slightly further that time. We got further than we've ever gotten before. It was a better jump, it just wasn't a good enough jump. It's all about learning these levels to get a little bit better each time. Nope, don't jump over the spring. I could probably make that jump if I just went full on at it. But instead I keep half and halfing. No, oh boy. Okay, never mind. Still got the angel. I thought we kicked it into the water, but everything's okay. Oh, can you not jump on them? I thought you could jump on them. Learning all kinds of things about this this game. You can't jump on them, guys. Why would you think jumping on a frog would be a good idea? They have poisonous skin! You're barefoot! I can't believe some of the nonsense you guys come out with sometimes. See, that's progress. This is the furthest we've gotten. Whoop. Oh no, I just threw my hammer into the sea. Ah! Impaled on a swordfish. I feel like this game is like nine tenths memorization. With those jumps. Because you need massive mo momentum on your jumps. And you're on a strict time limit for the food that you eat. So you kind of want to keep running and jumping. But then it throws something at you that uh, you just can't dodge because you've got too much momentum. It, this character's really slow to turn around and stop jumping and stuff. Yeah, you have to be dodging before you see it half the time. Yolangandia might eat my hammer. No, I need that. Yomangand eat the eight Mjolnir? Is that a thing? Is that what you're referencing? I know about how Thor dies. I don't know if there's a canonical fate for his hammer. Oh, 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 oh. I thought I jumped over it then. Probably in his hand at the time. I think this is a fever dream as we lay dying, impaled on a swordfish. Mm. 
<laughs> we made it to a goal. We got a doll. Read a book about the Norse mythological characters after Ragnarok. Okay, cool. <laughs> Is it interesting stuff? I've got a spiky cave. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and checkpoint us there. Cause we should respawn here anyway when we die, so I'll save just in case I, I forget to save later. Oh boy. I forgot that the skateboard was a thing. Now it's time for some real adventure on this island of Wonder Boy. Ah, my skateboard. Mjolnir becomes a dwarf named Jolly and doesn't want to go anywhere near Jormungand because he doesn't want to be eaten again. That... fair, I guess? Jormungand has a big appetite, he's a big boy. Same thing. I, th I thought I was back at the beginning, but no, there was clearly a checkpoint. Oh, good, now the snake has my hammer. Fine, forget it, forget it. It's a snake's hammer now. I'm not going back in there to get that. A lot of messages just came through at once. Uh, feel free to continue your book review, Lady Meow. Three stars out of five? Okay. So not amazing, then. I don't know if the heat is killing my, uh... If the heat is killing my internet somehow or what, but... It died yesterday, too. I don't know if maybe it's overheating or something? I don't know why it would suddenly start failing if it's not heat related, because, you know, the heat is awful. You guys are probably in an ad, so I don't know if you can hear me. HP Red as a standalone. Did it did it actually work as a standalone? Yeah, fair enough. Uh we got spooky skulls. Oh, I slid right in the spooky skulls. Would have been easy if I had a hammer. Let's so, see, this guy moves like he's on ice all the time. supposed to do there? Other than just know there was a boulder coming. It's not even coming this time, what? What? spoiling the first part of that book, I would imagine. Okay, we, we got over it, I don't know. don't know if that's how you're supposed to do that. I think we got past here using the skateboard last time, which is uh, why we don't re recognize any of this stuff. The bananas! Oh, 
is my skateboard. But it belongs to Snake. Oh. Snake board. We're back. Can you only just hear me, Lady Mio? You've been watching an ad all this time. saying a lot of the same things. I guess it's just uh, great minds thinking alike. I was saying how it's not a great introduction to the book, and you said it's not a great introduction, introduction to the book. Oh! oh. oh that was a last life as well. We got really far there. Right, right, I forgot about the, uh, the boulder. Which I guess is why we only had one life because of that boulder. That one boulder. Maybe you better jumping right at the end so you can get over the boulder? You gotta land right on the tip and then jump before the boulder gets you. There we go. It's not easy to do though. tone strange. You can definitely believe the characterization thing if you've not been there for their other adventures. Oh. Okay. Come on, skateboarder power! Oh no! I landed on death! A spooky skull! Epic and irreverent at the same time. Okay. Kinda got you, I think. Feel like it'd been better off making up its own mind already. syllables. During which you kept referring to another character as a noob. That's... okay, yeah, that's... That seems a little too far. Unless it's, and I mean, unless the thing is meant to be like modern day, set modern day, noob is a very specific piece of slang. I mean, it's one that's gone through several evolutions. Sort of writing, but not quite, quite hitting it. Yeah. 
So I think I need to keep a skateboard as long as possible, because some of that later stuff is going to be real hard without it. Ah, my skateboard. So much for keeping it as long as possible. Definitely not set modern day. Yeah, then the noob thing really doesn't fit. That 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 alone feels jarringly out of place. Oh. Makes me wonder if the author really understands the context of the word. from noob with the other spelling, which comes from newbie, which is specifically a term for new players in a video game. The word has almost no meaning outside of video games. If it's not set modern day, where does... it doesn't work. Might as well have him talking about hitting people like a freight train or something. You're not, uh, not getting the context right there. Ooh. I was done for when I saw that frog. No! Oh, 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 I survived it. I thought, I thought I was dead when I saw that rock. Yeah, I mean, maybe it worked in the other books and... Just didn't manage to follow through with it. Quite nail it with that book. While I was phoning it in. Oh. Secret film. Uh, is this... I just don't understand how this works. They took us to the next checkpoint. get what you mean there. I mean, maybe, maybe the previous book clearly established how Fenrir and Thor had worked together to found the Norse world's... to found Midgard's first video game company. And Fenrir was notorious for his smack talk. Hey, we found a jar of mayonnaise! Oh boy.
You kind of have to decide before you land on the platform whether you're going or not is the problem there. Because it takes so long to build up to maneuver. came closer. Rip. Oh, so I took it slower there and almost starved to death before I fell to my death, so... The third Ragnarok? Oh, well, there goes my hammer. Why are there more than one Ragnaroks? Surely different things should happen each Ragnarok, because not everybody's going to be there the next time through. Like, Balder becomes king after the first Ragnarok. different names. So they just kind of reoccur. Okay. So they're like trials that they faced. because they'd already survived the big Ragnarok event and all the other uh, trials and tribulations. Uh, mushrooms, I want a skateboard! this more- I get ya. What makes this more deadly than the other times? We've been through a lot of, uh, horrendous world ending events now and it's starting to get stale. I don't think that the events are meant to be like back to back either. It doesn't really seem very legit. 
Like, a lot of stuff happens before Ragnarok. There's lots and lots of the gods living their normal everyday, everyday lives. I'm gonna st oh my gosh. I, I got all the way there and then I stopped. See what happens when you take it slow and careful. Just run and scream. We were right at the goal as well. Only one character was worried and that wasn't even about the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, I feel like something's gone wrong when the people don't care about the these upcoming crises. Curious about the other books? Were they all as bad as this one? I've got to know. That's how he gets you. That's why the other books are bestsellers. People read them and are like, are all the other books this bad? Okay. I don't know why I did that. My brain told me I'd hit the spider even though I clearly hadn't hit the spider. A darker shade of magic? Is that the name of a book? I thought you were saying that there was a darker shade of magic in the Norse book. I thought you were about to say that that was its good point. So you're all about uh, a shade darker of magic, huh? Fifty Shades Darker of Magic. Recommended by Lady Meow. No, they don't. I've never put good points in my reviews. Ah! Freaking crocodile, man. Watch where you're going! Roadhog! feeling that name for what you described. I don't know why I keep forgetting that frogs can jump. Frogs are fairly known for being able to jump. Ow, ow, ow! Toes. Should have worn, worn shoes for this rescue. Frogs fly. Really wish I had a hammer. sound like it was kind of tacked on at the end of a uh, otherwise successful trilogy. Hmm. Flying spiders! There's some more crocodile men. between the trilogy and book five. Hmm. Ooh, what do, what do we got here? We found a Sega! Oh 
hey, it's the boss fight. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I hit him in the head. So close. Do I have an extra life? Oh, I do. I'm surprised. So yeah, tell me more about this other book that you liked. Fifty Shades Darker of Magic. I'm gonna beat this boss and then we'll play another game, I think. Because I don't know how long this game goes on for, but it's probably forever. Defeat Green Bear Head. There we go, we decapitated him. Oh no, and now he's got an elephant head. This whole thing is not getting any less ridiculous. Whew. We didn't get the doll that time? Yeah, that's a shame. Still, we did another zone. Alright, I'm gonna take a very short break while I change game. So I think I've already had enough of this one. And, uh, you wanted to see some Pugsy Lady Meow? Let me stop the game and we'll do some Pugsy. <laughs> <laughs> 